the entire process of making tumbad has been a lot of trial and errors the biggest challenge of tumbad during the post production was that it's a very sound heavy film the work that had been already put into the film was just very inspiring anyways to get on board and say okay, okay come on now let's my turn now and let's see what can happen 100% has been treated from scrap in terms of sound. I mean, we had to do every bit of sound again. They did sing sound and all, but we couldn't use any of that because there was rain throughout in the shoot. The kids had grown up. We couldn't use their voices. So we had to create everything from scratch, including foley, design, ambiences, dubbing. So everything was redone. When I started designing it, I suddenly felt everything seems like Maharashtra, apart from Soham. Soham then got a diction coach. So once we addressed that, then the other things started getting addressed. The boys were too old to come and dub because their voice had changed. So we did that voice casting and we got one boy. He did Young Vinayak's part and he did it so well that I thought that what if he auditions for Pandurang as well. That one difficult scene uh, I gave him, the scene with the mistress. I also needed to see how intelligently can he, you know, uh, imbibe and understand the subtext of the scene. In one take, I was like, Oh my God, this boy is really amazing. And immediately Kunal and I knew that we have to get him and we have to get him to do both the characters. If he was supposed to do some movement, he would jump around the sofa, then jump down and then give reactions and stuff. So he was also having fun. He got to understand the process. I mean, completely to the credit of Malha that he made both the boys sound so, so different that, you know, uh, nobody can tell that, you know, these are just one actor. <laughs> तुझसे ब्याह करूंगा वो सरकार की लगन नहीं है खजाने के बारे में वो कुछ ना कुछ तो जरूर जानती होगी नाउ दादी वाज द मोस्ट क्रूशियल बिट of the first act on the film. The character might be like, you know, 300, 400, 500 years old, but when she was bitten, she must still be a girl. She's not like a, a conventional bhoot. She's not there to just scare you. The f she's also fun. When we were deciding on voice that, how do I get someone who is able to understand this, you know, naughtiness and, you know, not make it a very serious old woman, which I think we found our answer with, with Ratna Bali. Ratna Bali had dubbed earlier as well, so she knew the character a bit. She came in and she did her take. As with any, you know, intelligent and sensitive actor, uh, Ratna just got it instantly. She two personalities performed in one take. There is a woman who is a bitchy, and there is a woman who is a bitchy, and there is a woman who is a bitchy. Which really got me interested in that she is a bitchy. There was this whole thought people kept saying that we are not understanding what the daddy is saying. Everybody came up with an idea that Raghu sir is trying to do dubbing. And we landed up in a situation with Dadi that how balance it. So we, me and Adi were racking our heads that we keep this, that we keep it, what we will do. We'll have to mix and match. Name bhul gaya? They say that the gods of the gods are being made of water. Yeah, it is constantly raining. It's raining in Pune also, it's raining in Pune also, it's raining in Tumbad also. I mean, we were in a... Fix. I mean, why is this happening When you start designing, you start questioning everything. Now, when it's raining in Tumbar, it's raining, it's raining. I mean, it's that heavy that it's raining. So, that's the way we want to treat it in sound. And then Pune, we try to keep it a little more mellow within the scene, just as ambient, not overpowering or coming on your face. When I got on board and I saw it, Hastar was still not 3D. Hastar was a man in prosthetic. So then we had to re-approach Hastar all together again. I had sounds of Rahi dubbing, I had sounds of Jim, other people dubbing and all. But that didn't work once it became a 3D character. None of those sounds were actually correct. So then we had to re-approach, we took a lot of zombie sounds, a lot of animal sounds, and we combined them and saw that this is not working or not. So, but it had a lot of work. You had to keep coming back and doing it again and again. It was quite frustrating to keep doing it again and again. If you see this session, if people actually go and see the Hastar ke section ke sessions jo bane hai, wo dekh ke paagal ho jayenge. There are some add-on tracks. Hastar ke wala kuch 40-50 track hai, upar dubbing ke track hai, unke wo sab khichdi pak paka ke pata nahi kaise bahar nikal raha hai, but jo sunai de raha hai, wo hamare liye correct ho jayega. Dream of a sound guy is to eventually mix a film. This was the first film that I've actually mixed. And design. और उससे पहले बहुत critical मेरा question था हम Indian audience के लिए mix कर रहे हैं कि हम international audience के लिए mix कर रहे हैं. Eventually it's a mix of the Indian approach and the international mix approach that we had.
और मज़ा आया हमको भी मिक्स करते हुए एंड दैट्स आई थिंक ट्रांसलेटेड विद द ऑडियंस जो मैंने फर्स्ट मिक्स जब किया था दैट वाज अ वेरी कमर्शियल मिक्स एंड इन दैट मिक्स विजुअल की बहुत तारीफ हुई साउंड की तारीफ हुई फिल्म के बारे में इतना कनेक्ट नहीं हो रहा था ऑडियंस के इवेंचुअली बाय द एंड द थर्ड मिक्स पीपल आर प्रेजिंग द फिल्म विच आई एम हैप्पी वर्क इट्स नॉट दैट यू जस्ट प्रेजिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन द फिल्म यू टॉकिंग अबाउट द फिल्म द फिल्म इज वर्किंग फॉर यू I'll reduce my cut to 2000. My promotion came through. The film has been mixed at least four times if not more. But every time we've gone into a mix theater it's costed money. Every time we want to do changes it's costed money. It's taking resources we have to pay studio and stuff. So hum in whatever situation he was in life he never told me ke ye mat kar mere paas paise nahi hai. I think his perseverance on this project to see it through, just as a producer and an actor, and Adesh with him, I think was just. I saw them in this office, and I was like, "You guys have been here for long, huh? The tum baad bhogna hai, tumhe was actually happening." Jo eventually mere saath bhi hua. Mujhe hi bhogna pada tum baad. Kafi time, but it was all all good, all good in the end. We're all happy with what it was. Tum Baad as a film, it has always been an exercise in craftsmanship, and to be able to do that, you need an exceptionally and fiercely talented crew.